Pleiades and Dreamtime, a tale of seven sisters. The Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters, is a star cluster that can be seen in the night sky in many parts of the world. It is part of the constellation of Taurus and consists of more than a thousand stars, but only six or seven are visible to the naked eye. The Pleiades have fascinated humans for thousands of years, and many cultures have developed myths and legends about them. One of the most ancient and widespread stories is that of the Seven Sisters, who are chased by a male figure across the sky. In Australia, the indigenous people have a rich and diverse oral tradition that includes stories about the creation of the world, the origin of life, and the relationship between humans and nature. These stories are collectively known as Dreamtime, and they reflect the worldview and values of the original cultures of Australia. One of the most popular and important Dreamtime stories is that of the Seven Sisters, who are also called Kunkarang Kalpa, Minyapuru, or Nepal Jariwarnu, depending on the language group. The story varies slightly from region to region, but the basic plot is similar. The Seven Sisters are young women who travel across the land, creating natural features and sacred sites along the way. They are pursued by a man called Jakamara, Watinairu, or Yerla, who wants to marry one or all of them. The sisters try to escape from him by using their magic powers, but he always finds them. Sometimes he disguises himself as an animal, a plant, or a rock to trick them. Sometimes he uses his own magic to create obstacles or illusions to catch them. The chase continues until the sisters reach a place where they can no longer hide or run away. In some versions, this is a large rock formation that they climb up. In others, it is a water hole where they dive in. In a final attempt to escape from Jakamara, the sisters turn themselves into fire and ascend to the heavens to become stars. Jakamara follows them and becomes a star as well, either near them or on the opposite side of the sky. The seven sisters can be seen today as a cluster of seven stars that is part of Taurus, also known as the Pleiades. Jakamara can be seen as either Orion or Aldebaran, depending on the version. The story of the Seven Sisters is not only a fascinating tale of adventure and romance, but also a rich source of cultural and spiritual knowledge. It teaches about the connection between humans and nature, the importance of kinship and respect, and the power of women and their creativity. It also explains the origin and meaning of some natural phenomena, such as meteor showers, eclipses, seasons, and constellations. The story is still told and celebrated today by many indigenous Australians, who regard it as part of their identity and heritage. The story of the Seven Sisters is also remarkable for its similarity to other myths from different cultures around the world. In Greek mythology, for example, the Pleiades were the seven daughters of Atlas, who were chased by Orion across the sky. In Japan, they were called Subaru, meaning gathering, and were associated with weaving. In Native American cultures, they were seen as either seven maidens who escaped from a bear or seven children who climbed up a tree to reach heaven. These parallels suggest that humans have been observing and interpreting the Pleiades for a very long time, perhaps even more than 100,000 years ago. The Pleiades are not only beautiful to look at, but also full of stories and meanings that span across time and space. They are a testament to the human imagination and curiosity, as well as to our shared origins and destiny. The next time you see them in the night sky, remember that you are witnessing one of the oldest and most universal stories ever told, the story of Dreamtime and the Seven Sisters.